Hey guys, welcome back to the shop, and today we're going to be building a goblet for my buddy Emilio. So let's get started. For building a goblet, we're going to start here on the bandsaw. And how I figured out how to do this is we're going to raise up this little bar over here and make it into uh, a fence. I guess that's kind of what it already is. Then I have this fancy little piece of wood, which is just some 1x2s. Uh, I believe they're both pine. I've got two screws back in here to make sure it's sturdy. I've got my label on here because it is a jig. And I have a countersunk hole in here that I drilled with the drill press. I take this big bolt, slide it through, it's flush, and now I have a pen. So I undo uh, the lock there, slide it back a little bit, and line it up. So that the bolt is about even with the blade. Um, now the blade is a little bit wider than the bolt, but I, I think that'll still work. Then I take this little block and put it right back here. Make sure to hold the actual jig in place and let me find a clamp. And that gives me something that this can slide up onto. Since I'm building a goblet, I'm going to go ahead and start with a 2x6. And, uh, not this 2x6 because there are holes in it. We'll start with this one. So I'm going to take this bit, I believe it's a quarter inch. So I'm going to go ahead and drill a hole in here. And that will give me something that I can put over the bolt there. Slide all of this in so that the uh, bandsaw starts cutting the wood. And then I can turn it just like any jig. So let me go ahead and get that ready for you. Here it is with the jig with the, uh, the bolt in there, and it's attached to my 2x6 with this little hole. Usually I drill the hole with the drill press, um, but I didn't with this one, so you know. So I'm going to go ahead and move the camera and we'll get cutting on this. Here we are at the next camera angle, and it is important to remember that the table is slanted. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, plug in the bandsaw and then start cutting. And here we have my 2x6 cut into a circle, but how can I drink out of this? Well, it's very easy. We just take it, uh, put it back on just how it was. And then just move the fence closer. So here we go, um, you know, put a uh, some kind of plate at the bottom and uh, we have a goblet. Alright guys, so it turns out that wasn't exactly what he had in mind. Um, it needs to be a bit bigger and look a bit better. So I went ahead and cut this one out. Uh, now this is uh, about four and a half inches long an inch and a half wide of course and this was cut with an actual 2x6. Uh, you can kind of see where the crack was. I need to go back and clean that up with some sandpaper and then add the bottom and a handle. So let's get to it.
I've got the top and the lower top. Um, the idea here is that all around there, it's, it's about the same size. I still need to go through and sand both pieces and either cut the base here. Probably going to cut the base down a little bit on the bandsaw, just, you know, run it through. For the next part, for the goblet, uh, we have this little hole in the bottom here, and it looks to be about uh, a little more than a quarter inch. Uh, we have some room to cut off, so I'm going to try to cut it about halfway. And how I'm going to do that is I'm going to use this fence that I built for the uh, bandsaw. So now we have this and I'm going to go get the orbital sander and sand that down, make it nice and flat just like the other side. For this part I'm going to be sanding off the interior part of the uh, part of the goblet that holds the water, I'm not really sure what that would be called. And I got this little spindle sander that uh, goes on drills and put it on the drill press for 10 bucks and to add to my drill press for 10 bucks I now have a spindle sander. So, let's go get towards that. I think we're about done. Gonna smear that around a bit. Alright, now that part we're just going to leave in the corner drying up overnight and we'll go ahead and get started on the base of the goblet. Now that we've given it some time to dry, let's go ahead and take off the clamps. Alright, that's a pretty clean joint. There's not really much glue. I mean, there's a little bit there, but I don't think that's going to be much of an issue. Now I'm going to go sand it. Alright, here's the base. Now we want to do the same thing with this. Alright, got most of the glue on the edge there cleaned up. Alright, the lip on this I think turned out pretty nicely. It, uh, there's a little bit of a vertical uh, edge there. I might have taken that off a bit, but um, a little bit of a vertical edge kind of slants in and then the top is nice and flat. Now I have to go find the uh, handle.
And now to set the uh, drill, I don't want to go all the way through. Uh, that looks like it's about right. So as you can see, we did not cut through, but that is pretty shallow. Luckily, this is a really tight fit. And here we are back at the gluing station and we're ready to start gluing it up. Put some down on the hole here. I'll come back and uh, clean up any spills we have. Twist that around a bit. So let's go ahead. Put a little glue up here in the top. Give that a nice twist. Try to get that glue around. All right. Now we just wait for that to dry. Here it is. I'm pretty proud of it. Uh, I don't have a lathe. That would have made this so much easier. But I just put on the fourth coat of uh, this cutting board oil that I found at the hardware store. So it should be perfectly safe to drink from. The uh, handle here is a poplar dowel that I found and there is no hardware in it, just wood and glue. So, uh, happy Cinco de Mayo, Emilio.